crazy. No tie. Happy Friday, everyone. What a week, huh? If you're a fan of liberal meltdowns, well, kids, this is your Super Bowl wrapped in a World Series with a Stanley Cup chaser. <laughs> it's all sports stuff. First, the Supreme Court strikes down New York State's regulations for concealed carry pistol permits, which allows... All right. Got some murderers in the, office, in the audience. But that allows more law-abiding Americans the right to carry in public spaces where not-so-law-abiding citizens are already doing the same. Funny how libs aimed at packing the court, and now the court is packing the public. <laughs> We go to the NRA for comment. Meanwhile, the gun control libs took it well. Yeah, the frantic, miserable takes came in hot and heavy. But you may not notice, since these freaks are miserable all the time. But man, do they hate it when law-abiding people finally get the same protections as thugs. Apparently, the left worries that those poor felons might get shot when they're trying to shoot you. Remember, it's these idiots who push for defunding of the police and gun control at the same time. Like an intern for Andrew Cuomo, he gets squeezed at both ends. Oh. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't write this stuff. It's disgusting. <laughs> the system won't protect you, and neither can you. You're like a kidnapping victim after the search for you has been called off. But you can see why the left is pissed. Crime doesn't affect them. They live in nice places, have private security. So no wonder this dolt finds it shocking, absolutely shocking. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. I'm sorry this dark day has come. Mm. I'd ask what world she's been living in. Mostly because her eyebrows look like aliens. <laughs> Here's our New York mayor. This decision has made every single one of us less safe from gun violence. And we cannot allow New York to become the wild, wild west. Mm, that's an insult to the era and the Will Smith movie. <laughs> and the TV show. The wild, wild west, has this guy ever been to East New York? It's way past. The wild, wild west. John Wayne's horse would be stripped to its hooves in five minutes <laughs> if he rode through there. Look, I want to give you a chance, Mayor, but guns don't kill people. Politicians who don't do <laughs> to keep violent criminals off the street kill people. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Applaud away. I deserve it. When you were campaigning for mayor, you were always described as a law and order guy. We didn't know they meant it's your favorite TV show. <laughs> Maybe instead of going to the gala at the Met dressed like P. Daddy's butler, do your job, okay? God, I hope Kamala is deeply concerned and troubled. We, the president, myself, many of us are deeply concerned and troubled by the Supreme Court's ruling today. Um, it, it, I believe, defies common sense and um, the Constitution. <laughs> Yeah, right. Cam talking common sense is like cat talking nuclear fission. Greg, nuclear fission is just a reaction where the nucleus of an atom splits into two or more smaller nuclei, which releases a huge amount of energy, even by the energetic standards of radioactive decay. Oh. Oh. Gonna have to rethink my thoughts on Kamala. Fair enough. And what of poor Lori Lightfoot? The fact that the court um, is coming down with this decision feels tone of death. And I, th I worry that it undermines the legitimacy uh, of the court. Sorry, lady. But I also hear gunshots make you tone deaf. Maybe see a doctor before diagnosing this decision. You gave up on fighting crime in the most violent city in the country and just banned cops from chasing perps. So you have no voice in this matter. And please, as a medical professional, get some sleep. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, is Joe disappointed in the Supreme Court gun decision? 
I am disappointed in the Supreme Court one decision. I think it's a bad decision. I think it's, I think it's not reasoned accurately, but I'm disappointed. Yeah, he's disappointed because he thought Matlock was on. <laughs> but at least he knows how we feel about him. Disappointed. I bet the view don't even have the words, it seems. I don't even have the words, it seems. <laughs> Stupid. No, it's worse than that. It's no, worse it's than insane. that. It's not even it's stupid. Insane. It is. It's. Like a death it's wish. No, it's. It's so. It's such a middle finger to New York. Mm, no, it's the Supreme Court flipping you off. <laughs> but screw them all. Not literally. That's disgusting. Here's why. They didn't care about the riots. They saw them as justifiable. They didn't care about black on black crime because it embarrassed their own sequestered lives and their own obliviousness to the consequences of their crappy policies. They created the crime and now they're mad people want to defend themselves. And they think that if we just sit there and be victims, we'll eventually all be Democrats. <laughs> so you can't have it both ways. You can't do nothing to protect us and then prevent us from protecting ourselves, especially when it's our right. And dare I say, God-given. <laughs> hey, look, it's amazing. I'm agnostic, except you gun control jerks made me into a believer. If I have to listen to one more vapid gun control idea, the next time you'll see me, I'll be wearing a clerical collar. <laughs> Besides, my abs are proof there's a God. <laughs> But you defund the police, let out repeat offenders, reduce penalties for gun crime. The only thing left is the Second Amendment. Look, the First Amendment is enumerated, meaning I don't need paperwork to tell you to go screw yourself. The Second Amendment is also enumerated. It's a right that's inalienable, which is hard to say drunk. <laughs> Too many vowels. But it also means you can't infringe on it. And now we have Roe v. Wade overturned. And here's the obvious one-sentence explanation. Guns are in the Constitution. Abortion isn't. You can love it or hate it, but it's hard to argue that point. And I get it. Not everyone should have guns. But... <laughs> <laughs> but this wouldn't be a problem had these liberal a-holes done their job instead of siding with the thugs. They let people out because they said it was racist to keep them in, then looked the other way when minority neighborhoods were destroyed due to their stupid policies. They made this crime ridden bed. True, we'll all still need to apply for a gun permit, but we sure as hell don't need your permission anymore. So as one famous cop once said, go ahead, make my day. It looks like the Supreme Court just did.